Hey guys, welcome to our channel, Chill on YouTube. In 2011, when he was traveling to shoot photos for a new book on the disappearing wildlife of East Africa, across the ravaged land, photographer Nick Brandt came across a truly astounding place. A natural lake that seemingly turns all sorts of animals into stone. The alkaline water in Lake Natron has a pH as high as 10.5 and is so caustic it can burn the skin and eyes of animals that aren't adapted to it. The water's alkalinity comes from the sodium carbonate and other minerals that flow into the lake from the surrounding hills. Sodium carbonate, which was once used in the Egyptian mummification, also acts as a fantastic type of preservative for those animals unlucky enough to die in the waters of Lake Natron. So let's try to figure out how something could survive the creepy Lake Natron fatal effects. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. What would happen if you fell into Lake Natron? You wouldn't be turned to stone instantly, but if you happen to drown and stay submerged, your entire body would harden and be preserved. If people found you hundreds of years later, you might still have your hair and organs intact. Yep, still looking spiffy after all those years. Like a mummy, Natron's super high alkalinity stops the decomposition process. Thankfully, this means you'd be safe from vultures or any other hungry scavengers looking for a snack. If you waded into the lake at a time when the water temperature was lower, it could feel more like a hot tub but your eyes and any open wounds would sting like crazy because of all the salt. Why is Lake Natron so ghastly? The surrounding area of Lake Natron receives irregular seasonal rainfall, mainly between December and May, totaling 800 millimeters per year with temperatures at the lake frequently above 40 degrees Celsius. With such high temperature, it has led to high evaporation rates in the lake. High levels of evaporation have left behind natron or sodium carbonate. The surrounding bedrock is composed of alkaline, sodium-dominated trachyte lavas that were laid down during the Pleistocene period. The lavas have significant amounts of carbonate, but very low calcium and magnesium levels. This has allowed the lake to concentrate into a caustic alkaline brine. The ghastly Lake Natron is a salt lake, meaning that water flows in but doesn't flow out, so it can only escape by evaporation. Over time, as water evaporates, it leaves behind high concentrations of salt and other minerals, like at the Dead Sea in Utah's Great Salt Lake. So what kind of creatures live there? Colored a deep red from salt-loving organisms and algae, the lake reaches hellish temperatures and is nearly as basic as ammonia. Although most human settlements throughout history have formed around lakes and rivers, the barren landscape around Lake Natron tells a clear story of a place no one ever wanted to live. Although most species cannot handle the 120 degree lake water, cyanobacteria have made Natron their home and turned the lake its trademark reds and oranges. This algae growth has also fostered the development of lesser flamingo nests. Amazingly, 2.5 million flamingos make Lake Natron their home, and it is considered one of their only breeding grounds, making preservation of the lake an environmental concern. In fact, bringing in fresh water would greatly upset the ecological balance of the lake and many in Tanzania have actively fought against bringing in water from the iwaso Nijiro River. If the salinity of the lake decreases, the cyanobacteria will also decrease and cause a loss of habitat for the endangered flamingos. Besides losing a bird habitat, the world would also lose a beautiful and salty natural wonder if too much water is diverted south to Natron. The 2007 Helicopter Crash In 2007, another kind of bird flew straight into this chemical cocktail. A group of wildlife videographers plunged into Lake Natron's toxicity when their helicopter crashed. 
The pilot suffered a broken leg and another passenger had a broken hip. Incredibly, one of the passengers managed to struggle to shore and alerted some of the Maasai tribes people nearby. They quickly built stretchers and carried the injured to land in the nick of time. So this is the end of the video. What if you jumped into Lake Natron? We hope you really enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in. But before you go, subscribe, like, and share the video. And don't forget, hit the bell icon to check out our interesting videos made just for you.